Hello, this is Mrs. Smith, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on Gridable. On Friday's quiz, the answer was six, six valence electrons. Some of you asked me where to place that six, and I was so glad you asked. Does it go in front of the decimal point, or behind the decimal point, or where does it go? Now, I was hurt because of some, some of you did not ask because I saw some way over here, some over here, just in random spots. And now, it does make a difference where you put the, um, the number. So, let's, when I'm thinking about decimals, I always think of money. So, hopefully, that will help you. If you owe me $6, right here, $6, if I choose to use that decimal point, this is the exact same thing. You still owe me $6. Now, if you put that 6 on the other side of the decimal to the right of it, that makes a difference. This is now 60 cents. I can put that zero there. That zero is just a placeholder. Whether I use it or not, that's still like 60 cents right there. If you owe me $6 and you give me 60 cents, that is not going to cut it. Now, also, you can't just put that um, number anywhere in front of the decimal because remember, place values. If this is a decimal point, that's your tenth place. This is your ones place, your tens place, your hundreds place. So this is like 600. These zeros are there only for placeholders. So now I hope you make that mistake if you owe me money. If you owe me $6, but you give me $600, I might let that fly. But be careful because I know some of you got the concept because I saw sixes, so that's what the answer was. But don't have all that knowledge and do all that work and not get credit for it. One other thing, or two other things, make sure that you also bubble. If you write the number 6, you have to bubble that number 6 because this is what the machine is picking up right here. So do both of them. And I think some of you uh, may be thrown off because in math, you can put this 6 anywhere because then you can write your decimal point in anywhere and then so it, it's a little different. In science, you cannot put this 6 anywhere because this decimal place is stuck right here or that decimal point. So be careful of that. One other thing, um, sometimes you'll do a calculation and you'll get a number with a decimal point in it. But I don't think we should have that much of an issue with this kind of number because hopefully you know you're going to have to match it up. So the 6 would be on the left side, then this 1 go here, and that 3 goes there. So think about money whenever you're doing it. We will have a gridable on next Friday's quiz. Be careful. Don't do all the work and have all the knowledge and not get credit. Um, until next time, see you later.